Hi everyone, today we'll be briefly looking at your novel for this term, Bowser the Hound by Thornton W. Burgess. So let's have a look about our author before we begin. So Thornton W. Burgess, he was a 19th century American children's author and conservationist. And he wrote a number of renowned books which reflected his passion for nature and living creatures. Some of these books include Old Mother West Wind, The Adventures of Reddy Fox, and many more novels. So let's have a look at the actual novel we're reading, Bowser the Hound. So first of all, the story begins with Bowser being led away. So Old Man Coyote, which is this fox over here, is annoyed by Bowser and decides to teach him a lesson by leaving an easy trail for Bowser to follow, leading him far away from his home by leading him to the top of a steep bank. When Bowser reaches the top, he is too excited by the chase and falls off the edge of the bank into the freezing river below. After seeing Bowser fall, Old Man Coyote runs back home, but Bowser is lost and unable to return home. Okay. In this next part, night begins to fall and Bowser is forced to search for a warm place to sleep. He finds an empty sugar shack and spends the night there. The next day, Blackie the Crow, and we can see that that's the crow over here, and this over here is Bowser, is flying over the sugar shack and sees Bowser. Blackie soon realises that Bowser is lost and will starve if he doesn't get fed. Blackie decides to take pity on Bowser and help him. Blackie leads Bowser to a nearby road heading to the nearest farmhouse. Old Man Coyote begins to give out dark hints to Sammy J asking him whether he has seen Bowser. Sammy J soon tells the other animals of Bowser's disappearance. And what the rumour really is, is that Bowser is dead. And of course, when Reddy Fox hears this, he decides to investigate for himself if Bowser had really been gone. Reggie knows that Bowser is missing because Bowser does not come home when he's caught by Farmer Brown's boy. With Bowser gone, Reddy goes to Farmer Brown's hen house. However, he meets Old Man Coyote at the hen house too, who is also there to steal hens. Old Man Coyote decides to let Reddy Fox into the hen house first to see if there are traps inside of it. So as you can see in our picture, we've got Old Man Coyote looking over at Reddy Fox who wants to enter the farmhouse to steal some hens. Reddy is trapped. So Reddy delightedly enters the hen house until a breeze closes the door and it traps Reddy in the hen house, leaving Reddy trapped inside. Old Man Coyote gloats at Reddy's foolishness and leaves. Inside the hen house, Reddy hides behind a box giving him a chance to escape in the morning without being seen. While waiting for morning to come, Reddy realises he cannot have a chicken dinner as he will easily be caught if Farmer Brown's boy sees the feathers in the morning. So, once again in the picture, this is Reddy and he's realising a lot of things as he's trapped inside the hen house. In the morning... Farmer Brown's boy opens the hen house to feed the hens. Reddy races out and surprises Farmer Brown's boy. Both Reddy Fox and Farmer Brown's boy are relieved. Reddy Fox is relieved to have escaped the hen house, while Farmer Brown's boy is relieved that none of the hens were eaten. Reddy Fox and Farmer Brown's boy both wonder where Browser is. We are told that Bowser follows the road Blackie led him to find a farmhouse where he's given food and a place to rest. 
And of course, this is Bowser. He's obviously followed the road that Blackie led him to, to get some food. Bowser becomes a prisoner of kindness because he is treated well by the family of the farmhouse. However, cannot leave because he is injured and he is lost in that he does not know where he is and the farmer keeps Bowser chained up. So, Bowser tries to call out to Farmer Boy's Brown's boy, but he is too far away to be heard. Seeing that Bowser is homesick, Blanky thinks of a way to lead Bowser back home. So, what we have here is Bowser, and Blackie obviously wants to help Bowser. He feels sorry that Bowser is not at home. Blackie and Reddy Fox. In this part of the text, Blackie is trying to trick Reddy Fox into helping Bowser, who is suspicious of Blackie's behavior because he is being unusually nice to him. Reddy and Blackie both attempt to trick each other as each of them have an ulterior motive. Blackie finally figures out a plan to trick Reddy into finding Bowser by telling Reddy of a faraway farm with fat hens. Reddy dreams of the fat chickens that Blackie told him about and decides he needs to follow him. So what we have is Reddy Fox and he's gonna be tricked by Blackie to helping the dog. Okay. So Reddy follows Blackie. Reddy pleads with Blackie to lead him to the fat chickens because obviously Reddy wants to eat. Stating that he needs a good meal because he's feeling weak and hungry. Reddy convinces Blackie to pity him and quickly follows Blackie to the faraway farmhouse. Blackie is pleased with himself. Reddy and Blackie continue tricking each other, but Blackie is proud that his plan is working. Blackie flies ahead and waits for Reddy, who is eager to find the fat hens. And of course, in our drawing, here we have Blackie. Okay. Reddy catches and hides the hen. By following Blackie, Reddy soon finds a farm full of fat hens. Reddy patiently waits until night time so he can catch a hen while Blackie impatiently waits from afar for Reddy to be caught. Reddy finally catches a hen and several things happen at once. Blackie alerts the farmer and Bowser who begin to chase after Reddy. Reddy hides the hen in a hollow tree stump so he can run away from Bowser. So obviously what's happened is Reddy has found some hens, he's caught one, but he gets chased by the dog. Reddy's hen disappears. Farmer Brown's boy hears Bowser's bark and sees Bowser chasing Reddy in the distance. Bowser re reunites with Farmer Brown's boy and forgets to chase. Reddy goes back for his hidden hen and he's surprised to see his hen has vanished from the hiding spot. He decides to get another hen from the farm, but is disappointed to see they've all been locked up by the farmer in the hen house. So this was the hollow tree stump where Reddy had hidden the chicken, but the chicken had disappeared. Solving the mystery. Blackie sees Mr. Goshawk swoop down and take Reddy's hen from its hiding place solving the mystery of Reddy's vanished dinner. In the final chapter, Reddy is upset that he did not get his chicken dinner, while Bowser is welcomed home by his family. The book ends with Blackie stating he is happy that everything is back to normal, as all's well that ends well. So the conclusion of the book, what happens, is Mr. Goshawk obviously steals the chicken that was hidden in the tree trunk and Reddy isn't happy because he doesn't get his dinner but lucky Bowser gets to go home and return to his family. So that actually concludes the entire novel.
I hope you can now go ahead with this term with a little more understanding of each chapter of the book. Thank you for listening to this short summary.